child, I am not doing a hit exercise. What? What? Oh yeah, mommy got those at home. <laughs> mommy has those at home. Oh, I didn't know they were that much, sis. You, I hope you didn't spend this much money. Hey, you know it says sixty-two dollars. Oh my gosh. So again, my Sally's has quite a bit. This music is loud. Y'all have to excuse it. Um, I'm gonna get two, two of these for my deep conditioner that I'm gonna make. Hell yeah, so I'll just come over here. Oh, and they have new? Oh yeah. Yeah, we're just talking about all the places that are closing down, that have closed down. Tours R Us is, are they officially closing down or filed for bankruptcy? So. We stopped by there on Saturday and I bought JB a bunch of toys. I spent a little bit too much money, but we're gonna go out in the garage. I'm la I'm laughing at Teresa's comment. Teresa, you know I'm you know I'm playing with you, sis. I don't put my subbies, I don't call them out unless I unless I like you. That's a sign that I like you. Because when I talk about you, I mean I like you, girl. Um, so I feel like it's a Friday, but it's a Monday. Woo! Um <clears throat> I have some paint countertop paint that i tried baby be careful i tried to sell eighty dollars eighty dollars i spent pure kit along with some other stuff it was like 160 dollars another one yeah um basically we got new counters y'all saw them in the bathroom Let me close the fridge we got new counters so what i'm gonna do instead is use this this kit to repaint some furniture. Now, in my opinion, sometimes when you see that granite countertop, that granite painted looking furniture, it can look cheap. So I'm gonna be very careful what furniture I paint because if you guys know our house, our house have warm tones. I mean, most of our furniture is dark. I have little bursts of orange, especially in the dining room, um, excuse me, in the den, in the living room, bursts of orange, green, yellows. Um, <laughs> All right, y'all, this is everything out. And now that I'm looking at it, I would be nervous to do this on countertops anyway. I mean, I've seen people do it, but unfortunately, this is a very temporary thing. So this is my opinion. If you were to paint your countertops, you don't have any intention of selling your houses. This is your house. You can do whatever you want, um, which I think is one of the reasons why my husband, at first he was okay with it, and he thought about it. He was like, yes, no, because we will eventually, I'm trying to get him to change his mind, but he is discussing selling this house, which in this neighborhood, the houses are selling like, uh, there's about four houses for sold where they're, they're selling in the neighborhood right now and they sell very quick. I'm so, we're good. Here is the one, I need to get this stuff out the way. This is a close up of it. And yeah. I did each one a little bit different so it won't look yeah. so matchy matchy. This looks a yeah. lot better than I thought it would. I, I, and here I, is another side table in here. It's the same thing. Now, I added a little bit of black um, because I felt, that I felt that the golden white was coming up too much. And here yeah. is, what's that noise? This came out real good. Yeah, <laughs> thanks baby. And here is, um, and it's really good. Transformation. This is what it looks like up underneath. Up underneath, I just painted it black. And then and I put a top the coat on it. Yeah, they can see the bottom. If it was me, I really wanted more brown. I'm so glad I did not do the countertops. The brown that they included was more of a tan. It wasn't brown. This is what it looks like up close. I did more yellow. Um, because I didn't like the way the brown looks. See, this is what the brown looks like. It's like a tan. So I did more yellow. Yeah, this is what the brown looks like. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is, my living room is a little messy. So backing up, it matches the couch. It looks anyway, good. let me show you what I whipped up. This is basically a vegetarian um, chili or not even that because I did add some chicken stock. So girl, this is bean soup. <laughs> um, I have in here chili beans corn, black beans, two sticks of celery, two garlic cloves, one fourth of an onion, which is basically three tablespoons, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin. I didn't add any salt because I did add one teaspoon of, excuse me, one tablespoon of chicken stock, stock two cups of water, one can of diced tomatoes. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about, let me turn it all the way down, for about, now about 20 minutes. Look, yeah, I'm in my closet. Um, trying to figure out when I'm gonna work for church. What the hell? Since it is Easter Sunday. 
Um, I'm not buying nothing new to wear. First of all, I have way too many clothes. Secondly, um, I have way too many clothes. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? A lot of my tops are going to be too big once I have my breast reduction in May. Right now, a lot of them are already big just for me losing weight, losing, dropping 25 pounds. And um, even without dropping any more weight, just the fact that I'm going to go down three cup sizes. Yeah, the vast majority of these are going to be too big. Then I can really go shopping. Girl, you ain't going to be telling me, look, y'all, my tooth is going to be everywhere. I shouldn't say that. I'm going to wear all types of strapless dresses. I turned the camera around. I'm going to pair it with either this dark fishtail skirt, as knee length skirt. Or the slack that have a pinstripe pink. These are very pretty. Um, very pretty, very comfortable girl. I have my hips spread and those. I can really feel good. This is a little tight hat where I am full. I just ate. Um, I'm typically hungry when I go to church. So um, maybe I won't feel so bloated. And I'll go ahead and wear the skirt. But I got these cute little earrings. Um, these earrings that I got. Let me sit there and zoom in. I purchased these earrings. Aren't these adorable? I purchased these through Walmart. Um, for four dollars a couple of weeks ago yeah i want to show you guys this cute little i saw i bought jb this uh shirt from walmart look i told you i'm not spending a lot of money all right a shirt this is very spring and then i got a couple of different fabric swatches and made him this cute 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 little bow tie i did a double bow tie and um yeah just to incorporate all the colors this is adorable this would be really really cute right, guys i'm going through my photo album Oh my goodness. Look, oh my goodness, my, that's snowman. Yes, it's snowman in Texas. This is my best friend. This is how long we've been friends. Uh, Y'all, look <laughs> how big I was. Oh my gosh. And this is another picture of me. Oh, I miss these pictures. These are pictures of Miss Love when Miss Love came to visit me. Visit us. So oh, pretty. It. Yeah, that's when I first look. This is when I was transitioning, actually. My hair. But that's that's when you were. This is my husband when he was young. Child, he looked like a baby there. Um, woo, woo, woo. That's my best friend's baby. Um, yeah, that's a fat baby, Tonka. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Yeah, who do you, now that y'all see a picture, you now see who who my, my husband, look, look, JB, look, 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 look. So y'all see those those eyebrows. That's why people say we don't, they don't know who he like, looks like. Those eyebrows are definitely my husband's. Um, and when he was younger, he looked just like him. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's daddy, was young. This is, now yeah, this is daddy's family back home. This is in Kenya, look at all. Look at all that green. Look at all that green, baby. This is, these are your aunts, baby. You Those see that? Those are my aunts? Uh-huh. I mean, literally, I started doing my hair. And I slept. Yeah, JB slept. I started doing my hair at two o'clock. It's like I said, it's 6.30. Um, because I just had to make sure my hair not was feeling what the way it should and now it's back just, to its beautiful self you can see how lush it is jb don't don't scream so yes i literally Ooh. did i pre-pooed i did a treatment with apple cider vinegar i deep conditioned with my moisturizing diy deep, deep, deep conditioner <gasps> queen helen is on point um yeah like toby um Hold on, y'all. Let me take care of this child. So I'm going to start cooking. I'll show y'all in a I'm going to make me some uh, chicken taquitas. So I have ingredients everywhere, you guys, just because I'm scatterbrained because this child said he wanted some pasta. So I'm going to make him a little bit of pasta with a little bit of sauce. Go ahead and play your game, baby. I bought all my last just with no sauce. No sauce? Mm -hmm. You want me to put a little bit of seasonings on it? Like the stuff that be on your goldfish, that sugary stuff? Yeah. All right, we'll do that. That's really salt, y'all. But All right, so for dipping, because I'm a big dipper, y'all. I love snacks. So I'm going to be making uh, like a sour cream, chipotle type of dip sauce for my taquitos. And then I have some honey sauce, of course. I have Roma tomatoes. I like to put like half of a Roma tomato. No, 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 baby. That's spicy. Don't mess with that. Half of a Roma tomato into the uh, chicken uh, filling, I should say. We're cheating. I have a rotisserie chicken I got from the store. 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull off as much white meat as possible. I'm gonna save this actual carcass. Is that how you, y'all yeah, yeah, know I can't pronounce well, nothing. I'm gonna save the bones to make my own chicken broth later on this week. I'll probably make it tomorrow, actually. <laughs> Baby, you're too loud. Of course, we have the taquitos. Um, we have a can of green chilies. I have some corn that I want to put in there. I have some taco seasonings, cumin, paprika, garlic powder, onion. Y'all know the y'all know the spill. Onion powder, garlic powder. Now, I like to put just a little bit of picante sauce in the filling too. Um, I used to do cheese and sour cream, but uh, yeah, we ain't gonna do all that tonight. But it's good. It's so good. This would be. This is will be really good on top of some just regular tortilla chips. Let me turn this off. Um, hell, this could be a taco filling. It is so good. Very simple. You guys are in my closet. About to get ready because I'm going to take JB to an indoor playground. We have been inside for like two or three days, girl. And so I'm going to take him to an indoor playground today for like an hour or two. And then on... Tomorrow, we're going to go to another indoor playground. And then on Saturday, <clears throat> girl, we're going to go to an African festival. Super excited about that. Um, I'm going to be wearing my traditional Oromo jewelry. And then my, um, my JB has a shirt from Kenya that my brother-in-law, like, he actually has an entire outfit, but we ain't going to do all that. And I actually have a bunch of jewelry. There we go. So this is hand beaded necklace, a necklace. Let me show you what the necklace look like. Isn't this beautiful? And the women traditionally wore their hair. See why my hair is like this? I mean, they wear their hair is a different type of way, but because of the head gear like this, your hair is typically, I'm sorry for the lighting, your hair is typically split down and then it'll be down. Of course, with them being child Ethiopian, those women have beautiful long hair. All of them are like, 3C, 4A. Like, seriously, it's, it's not uncommon to see, um, and we've seen them here on YouTube, um, these African women with waist length to tailbone length hair. Um, although a lot of them are keeping their hair fairly short, meaning shoulder length. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing the necklace.